That last video was quite a long one, wasn't it? Um, thanks for watching. <clears throat> Those of you who watched, I really appreciate it. I'm very grateful. Um, so what, I, what I'm going to do with social media is I'm going to focus on those people who I can tell for sure care about me and the, the best they know how to care for me. You know what I mean? Um, all the people that really do care about me that are in my corner know that I've got some serious issues. Um, so I think they, <clears throat> I think most of the individuals who really care about me um, kind of have to walk on eggshells sometimes um, or will only comment on um, things that are lucid, you know, when I'm not being delusional, um, which I'm grateful for because it doesn't help me to Um, applaud and celebrate when I'm being delusional. It doesn't. It doesn't help me. It just makes things more confusing for me and makes it harder for uh, makes it harder for me to um, to be lucid, basically. So don't encourage the the deranged delusional thoughts. And these, these folks already know that. Um, but I thought about uh, the golden circle principle that you start from the core inside the circle. And, and that's the gold. That's the core is everything. Um, it's the nucleus. But uh, no, I just want to give a shout out to um, <clears throat> some people on here. <clears throat> well, some people on um, Twitter that um, that really got my back. And if I miss any of you, I'm sorry. Um, Lisa, for sure. Lisa's the only woman left <laughs> that um, has stuck around. And surprisingly, Lisa is like the horse whisperer to me. Uh, the dog whisper, Caesar, Caesar Milan, I think. Except this is Lisa something or another, and she's not talking to dogs, calming them down. She's talking to a guy with borderline personality, calming me down. And Lisa, if you're watching this, <clears throat> it's like you know exactly what to say. You're, you're confident. You're not afraid. I can sense that you're not afraid. You're not intimidated. Um, when you say like you're brave, it takes courage. Wow. It's really awesome, Lisa. Thank you. You're really, um, you really mean a lot to me as a friend. I really value our friendship. I really do. Um, you're the only one I, I asked God, I said, God, just one person one person to just kind of help me through the storms, you know, um, is, is, is a friend, you know, it's like Samwise and Frodo, <laughs> you know, you're kind of like my Samwise and I'm, I'm Frodo trying to toss the ring of power into the pits of Mount Doom, the, the fiery lava. I'm really grateful, Lisa. Thank you again. Um, Walter, Walt, it's not Walter, it's Walt Hitchcock. I always want to say Walter, but I, I think even if it is Walter, he prefers to go by Walt. Walt Hitchcock, another great guy. Um, his, uh, his fellow writer, fellow author, storyteller. He's just finishing up um, his college degree. Super proud of you, Walt. Um, I know you can do this. And, uh, you know, I apologize for getting on your case about the uh, project we were working on. You know, um, it'll happen when it's meant to. You know, I know that now. And I, I forgot how much work I had to put in when I was going to school to get my bachelor's. And it was insane there. The last semester of my senior year, it was insane. In fact, 
fall and spring semester of my senior year were pretty intense. Um, I didn't have much free time. I uh, wasn't really writing too much of my own fiction on the side because I had to focus primarily on my schoolwork. Um, so I commend you, Walt, and I'm glad you stuck to your guns, man. You, you were brave. You were courageous. Um, Jennifer Bernardini um, is very busy, but she does drop in and every time she gives words of encouragement and lets me know that I'm, I'm not alone and uh, just keep going, keep fighting. Um, she also is the uh, cover artist for Dystopian America and uh, helped me with the layout design and everything and did not charge an arm and a leg, which thank you, Jennifer. Lady Jennifer, thank you. Um, Jen's a, another amazing friend, um, and I'm glad to know you too, Jen. Um, I guess Jen, Jen is a woman too, so it's not just Lisa. Um, R.T. Slaywood. R.T. R.T. The Slay. Mr. Slay himself. R.T. is one of a kind, um, I feel, I honestly feel a kindred soul, a kindred spirit to RT's spirit. Um, I feel like me and him were brothers, perhaps, in another life. Like maybe I was Thor and he was Loki. Um, as much as I want to be Loki and he probably wants to be Thor, you know. RT, we have to play who we are, you know, we have to play our roles. Um, but no, in all, in all seriousness, I, I love RT like a brother. Um, he's actually helped me out privately through direct message um, and sent me money when I was so poor I couldn't even buy food. Um, and I'll never forget that. And I did send, I think, at least $15 back to you, RT. I think you might have sent me 20 so I still owe you 5 But um, just an overall salt-of-the-earth kind of guy. You you really don't see that in people RT's age. Like, it's almost a miracle that he's a salt of the earth kind of guy. Um, I love you, man. I love you, RT. You're my bro. Let's see who else we got here. Scroll down. There's some other amazing people I connect with as well. Authors, I, I should say that. I do connect with some authors. Um, it's, it's more of an acquaintanceship. We're more acquaintances at this point, um, and maybe that's how writers are with each other. You know, more more so acquaintances than close friends. Sometimes close friendships develop, but um, I, you know, I gotta remember I've only been on Twitter this time for about a year now, maybe a little bit less than a year, and um, most of these other authors who are connecting have been here for a lot longer for many years and they've been aware of each other for many years and they've been writing stories constantly for many years um, so it makes sense you know um, especially writing in the horror genre um, but um, I want to I want to shout out Sonia um, and Stephanie Sonia and Stephanie are both amazing women who um, like a lot of my stuff and comment sometimes. Um, you know, I always prefer to chat, but I realize that Stephanie's married with kids and grandchildren, and I think her day is just jam-packed with activities, and if it's not, she's mentioned some stuff, some personal stuff that she has to wrestle with as well. Um, so I, I'm, I understand, Stephanie. It's all good, and I'll... We're still always friends. I'll always be your friend, Stephanie. And Sonia, you too. Sonia loves Johnny Depp, um, which is how we connected, because I also love Johnny Depp. In fact, I think he might have some borderline personality disorder going on as well. Um, but um, let's see who else here. Who else? Huh? I think that's about it for the regulars. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd say that is. Um, oh, Rise, Rise Thompson from England. Um, Rise has been more more active, likes more of my stuff. Um, 
Rise comments occasionally. I think it's I think it's tough for Rise because I don't think he wants to offend me or hurt my feelings by saying the wrong thing accidentally, which I understand, Rise. I really do. Um, you'd rather just say less than more um, to avoid any conflict. I totally get that, bro. Um, not mad at you for that at all. You're still my really good friend, and I'm I'm grateful for your um, your presence on my page. Um, oh, Paul, Paul and Jeff, Jeff, where you been, man? I kind of talked some shit about you the other day when I was being delusional. I wasn't talking shit about you, more about the shit talking in general, just the stirring of shit around. But um, hey, that's not my it's not my thing. It's not my battle. If you want to do that and point out. Um, the corrupt politicians go for it you know i'm still your friend um still got nothing but love for you you've called me your brother and i call you my brother and i call paul my brother too um let's see i'm trying to see if there's anybody else that i can see on here um tyler coke tyler i'm sorry man i almost forgot about you tyler is another guy who i feel um is is a kindred spirit is God, I could swear he was a brother too. in in a previous life, um, he was my brother in a previous life, but, uh, Tyler resides in Canada and he is an amazing guy. Um, always good stuff from Tyler. I, I always value and, and appreciate Tyler's tweets. There's, there's not a bad bone in his body and he's been through a lot of pain. I think he, also uh, struggles with depression from time to time, and it's it's very severe for him too. But um, he's pushing through, and Tyler, keep we got it. We got to keep pushing on, man. We'll we'll get this. So that's it. The dogs are barking. Thank you, everybody. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you all, and well, show you more love. That's the first thing. But I'm I'm also going to keep my eyes open for you all, and not worry about anybody else for now. All right.